Hey guys, and welcome back to the war. Ghana versus Andalusia. This is the war to reform the faith, and uh, with Maghreb at the moment at war with them as well, it's the war of free religions. One trying to put themselves as the, the big one of, you know, kind of the Muslim world, and one trying to come back, you know, well, sorry, not trying to come back, one trying to build upon their religion, and another trying to show that they are the main faith of the Muslim world. The Shia obviously are doing well, you know, they've got a nice little nation here, but still, they're far smaller than the rest. Uh, what was the war for again? For Seville? Ooh, that'd be quite big if they took that. They'd be going into Iberia. Hmm. Okay, interesting. Okay, we'll continue with our war. We don't really care too much about what they're doing. Got to concentrate on what we're doing. we got to be quick, though. I may need to separate these. It might be the best thing for us to do. We'll take this army. No. The bigger army goes up to Ziz. That's what we'll do. We'll head them over there. A victory. We got 9%. These guys are finished. How about you head up here? What's the defense? Yeah, pretty tribal. Most of these places are tribal, so it shouldn't be too difficult to take them. We will also head down here, but I think, yeah, some of my vassals are down there. Hopefully, they will take that. I could just tell him to do that. Which one has the biggest army there? Uh, Tagant. Okay, maybe we could get him to try and take this. I think that one's him. There we go. He's going to take that. Does he have enough men? He just has enough men. Okay, hopefully we can get him to take that for now. I see the hope that the, obviously the enemy can't get through Maghreb. So as long as that will continue the rages on, we have a good opportunity here. We have more men in each one. Okay, there we go. So all three of these are falling down then. We have 600 more men here. We'll head them off. I mean, could we take any of these with 600? Probably not. 400? Ooh, almost, almost. But we'll just we'll send them to this one. That one's more on the front line. There is a barrier here, so that's nice. We'll send them over to here just in case, because we don't know what's going to go on in this war. Put them together. 2,600 men. Okay. Just let time go by then. That's all we can do. Uh, five men, you go to that. Just five men, you just go to that one. There you go. There you go. Five men added to your army. So worth it. They traveled here all on their own through the deserts. Anything else? No. So we've got most of our men together now. This is it, really. This is most of our army. It's not enough, but if we can just hope that they're occupied. We're at 19%, so we're not looking too bad. If we take all of this down here, I think we could be close, and maybe if they bring an army down. I'm not sure if we get 100% by taking all of this down here, though. It might not be enough. We'll go for this one, then. That's quite a big place. That's a big castle. 31%. They can keep attacking. They can't assault just there. It's not times 10 just yet. We could get some more money in. We do have some prisoners right now. And what do we do with them? We could ransom them. How much would we get? 10 gold, 10 gold. Oh, no one that important. I could sacrifice them. I guess getting a bit of gold in right now would not be too bad. Let's, uh, let's get in gold for the kids. You know, once they're done. We're getting gold for the kids then. We'll see what we'll do with the lady. There we'll go. And that one's almost done. I accept paying the ransom. Okay, good to see. And we'll also get for the other kid. Just to get some money in so we can keep the you know, the the price of our armies going. Our army is meaning that we're spending money right now. So we're not making money at this point in time. We'll keep the lady just in case, you know. We don't know what we want to do with her just yet. They would like this other person to be a queen. Okay, I, I'm going to die at some point. I'm st at 65, I'm still alive. <laughs> I'm still here. Um, they're done. So you go march down this way. Okay, they're actually doing a pretty good job. They've actually took them one already. Was there any temples? No, there's no temples down here or anything. We're only at 38%. Yes, yeah, so taking all these will not give us 100%, I don't think. Uh, has it ended? Andalusia lost. So Andalusia has given up to Maghreb. Is this because of our war as well? Are they? Oh, no, they just lost the capital to a peasant revolt? Ooh, 7%. He's got 7,000 men still, though. So we've still got a good amount of men. If we can... Okay, this is our hope now. We're going to hope that he will send down a small group of men. Like, not all of them, like, let's say, 4,000. We fight them in the battle, we beat them, and that might give us the war score that we need. So we're actually going to send all these guys this way. Let's go, go, go. 
that's actually our best chance. Yeah, we've got to hope he didn't send all the men at the same time. He's definitely going to bring those men now. This is not what I wanted. That was so quick, Maghreb. Uh, the Shia showing their worth. Where's the capital? They moved their capital to... Oh, no, no don't, don't move that way. Uh, they moved their capital, though, to Seville. Sevilla. That's an interesting choice. Okay, Khalifa Yayad. Eight years old. How's the religion looking then for you guys? Uh, the Shia's spreading pretty quickly. They're converting a lot of them. It's about to come to Andalusia as well. Hmm. Sunnis over here not looking great. But the Sunni over in the east still looking as the main thing over here. So that's fine for them. They should be happy. Um, let's go back to our war. I keep getting distracted by other world building events. Okay, we've almost got that one. I'm hoping this might give us a good war score. 51% now. Uh, not not enough, but it's fine. We'll send those guys there. Hopefully those guys... Do oh, no one took that. Okay, nope. Are they going down here? Let's send him down here just in case he's not. You take that one, please. He has enough. There we go. So he'll take that. They'll take this. And that'll be all the places down here taken then. So we'll have about 60... 70% maybe? We'll probably have about 70%. Um, then we'll look to obviously march forward 58. We can also do some tech right now military stuff Okay, we can do military tech here. Yeah? I'm thinking maybe military organization You know, we're not that organized, but I feel you know You wouldn't think of like the African pagans as being organized But I feel like with the Queen here Queen Asia and her great experience of martial warfare and stuff I, I feel like she'd be the sort of person that could make that big difference and organize out of these things here So I feel like she's gonna go for that. She's organized the army more than anyone thought was possible. So we've got about 8,000 men. Almost 9,000 men. But obviously their men will be better. So let's march north. Wait for them to take that. But maybe we should just go north. Maybe we should go to him. I mean they still... I keep clicking that. Um, they still haven't taken back the capital. So he's probably just taken that back for now. How many men do they have? 2,500. He can deal with that fairly easily. Um, we got that, it looks like. Good, good, good. So, 64%. Okay, we'll take all the men up then. Let's go, go, go. Come on. Here we go. 8,000 men. Now, if we march through here, we might face some attrition. I guess because of the deserts and mountains. It's not our land. So, okay, that did not split my army that in half. Um, but yeah, we're going to send one army this way. Yeah, go that way. And hopefully, the Allies are going to follow us no matter what. So we're going to suffer attrition if we do. But we're going to have to hope that they don't, they're not sending an army right now. And it surprises me. That would be our big problem. They might be sending an army right now and it would surprise me. But we're actually looking pretty good. Um, Empress. Really, this is going to come down to where that army is. Empress. As long as they're not here, as long as they're not going to do a surprise attack against me, that would be my only big worry right now. And actually, we're not suffering attrition. Okay, that's fine. Any more people down here? We got a few. We got a few enemies down here. A little one over here. Do we have any more men we could get? A thousand men we could call upon. Okay, we'll go back up north though. And as long as we have the uh, the war goal, it's going to slowly tick up. So we've got seventy one percent there. I'm actually going to send you to attack them, because maybe we'll... You know, it's a battle. It's not a big battle, but it's something. There we go. It didn't make a difference. Just making sure. We're suffering a bit of attrition there. That's what I was worried about. Go, go, go. Go. Let's go to Malaga. Malaga will fall. Maybe I could take the capital. It wouldn't be that heavily... Def we could easily assault the capital. Yeah. You know what? Let's go for it. Let's go for the capital, then. Unless they're there, they could just be there themselves. As a member of the Children of Storm, we strive to better ourselves and each other. One way is the occasional sparring match to practice and honor. Seek out and duel the hero to Carby. Okay, we could seek him out and fight him. He's got a two there. I know we would win. Uh, horrifically scarred, and I'll accept because if you want to get our, you know, legend up. But I'm going to wait until after this war because if we can do this war, we actually could get everything done. I don't want her to die before that happens. So it, it, even though it's, it seems impossible she would lose. I mean, her dual skill is 132. You never know. And I'm not taking that risk. We're taking a risk already in this war. One wrong battle and we could all be dead, you know. They send in a group of men. There is a siege there, but that is that the rebels? 
was that that's the rebel army. If I defeat the rebel army and then assault it, but where's where's the enemy? Where are his men? Where are all your soldiers? You have 8,000 men. Where are they? Jane, where is... Oh, Jane is just... Okay. Jane is just... They're coming for them. They're, they're going in to attack, aren't they? Or attacking me. But you'd think they'd choose to attack them, yeah? We'll go here, then. We'll go to Malaga. And I can't see what's happening, so we're actually going to send this army to Seville to have a quick look at what's going on. Uh, they're developing an ambitious young woman. Would she want her to be ambitious? I could see her liking someone who's ambitious. I think she'll be fine with that, yeah. She'll be fine with that. She'll be like, you know what? I can live with that. Let's go in there and just see the 30th. Okay, 7,000 men. Yeah. That's, that's a problem. The rebels have been destroyed. What do we do? We're 81%. Can we find somewhere that's quick and easy to assault? Apart from the capital. Now, they're going to have to retake the capital, which they'll probably do now. And after that, maybe we could... You know... Some of these aren't too bad. How much is that? Ooh, that could, we could assault that, definitely. But that's so far away, I kind of just want to go for that. Now, we have more men than them in that army. But, like I said before, they are probably better soldiers. That would be the thing. Now, we can't see them. And that worries me. I'm actually going to send one of my advisors. Spy. Spy master. Um, no, not you. You. Katsina, so descent in the capital. Katsina, travel to the capital of the Abbasids and spy upon them. So descent between him and his vassals and tell us what is going on. We can see they're taking it back. So let's see what they do. They might come after us straight away. If they do, we'll deal with that. Let's lower the speed. If not... They might just keep taking this all back. Maybe they'll walk past us. They're going to Seville. I'm going to walk around because they might just go past us to go try and re free these places up. That's what I suspect they'll do. Then maybe I can go attack the capital. So that's what I'm going to hope for. I'm hoping they're going to make a tactical mistake and open up their capital for me to attack. They defeated the revolt. Uh, 13th of September. They could just be coming after us. Which they are. They're coming straight for us. Okay, we get them on the 13th, they get on the 16th. We might not be able to escape. Which means that's farmlands, this is mountains. So maybe we're better off here in the mountains. Or I could try and get here in assault. 84% was so close. Literally one battle could make the difference here. Planes, planes, planes. This is, if we're going to make a stand... This would be the place. So, yeah. I'm going to take the risk, guys. I'm going to see if Asia can win the battle. Um, we're going to move into there. If we can get there, we'll assault it and take it. If they can get here in time, which I think they can. I, I think they'll get here quicker than we can move there. We'll have to fight them here in Granada. Granada is where we'll take our stand. Then, oh, there go. <gasps> there you beautiful Andalusians, you silly fools, and your tactical miscalculations. They're heading south to take back those places. Yes, I thought they... Why didn't they do that in the first place, I guess? Huh. Okay, 29th. Let's go. Go, my queen. Go. 99%. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're 99%. We're so close. But we captured some stuff there. Now, could that be useful? Let's see. Prisoners. Are you worth money? Ten gold. Ten gold. Okay, just get me money for the kids then. Just get me the money from the kids. You know what? We'll just do that. We're so close to winning. Um, we just need a bit more. We just need to win a fight, really. That's it. I need to win a big fight. And that would be the only way. But the amount of men that they have, I don't think we could do that. Really. Accept your payment of ransom. We're going to have to win a battle. How long is it? Isn't there? There's a certain time period, isn't there? Um, score is capped at 99 because there's been less than 36 months have passed. And has not yet won a major battle. 36 months. When did we start? Start year. 840. So 36 months is three years. So we should almost be there. Two years and four months. Ooh. Okay, so if we get to 
eight more months, we can win. I can't believe how close we are. I can't believe how easy it's been. I mean, when Maghreb attacked them, I thought that gave us the chance. But this has gone pretty nicely for us. But where's his army? They might come back. Let's just, <laughs> let's just have a quick look. They're not down south yet. They're not. They could just be in Seville still. Hopefully they're suffering attrition. They're actually over here. They're probably coming right for me. Right now, I would suspect. And you know what? We're going to take them on a wild goose chase. Because if I go up that way, though, there's impassable. That seems like a dangerous place to go. We could cross along there. How about we go this way and we, we kind of cross over. There we go. We're going to try and escape. I'm going to take a wild goose chase for eight months. <laughs> Just as the Queen of Ghana's would do. <gasps> no, we're infirm. And we get 50 piety if we win. We'd have 700. We'd have everything. Everything would be in my grasp if we just win this war. Don't you dare, Aisha. Don't you dare do this to me. Don't you dare. Let's go, go, go. Take them on a wild goose chase for a few months. Actually, they could just be going south still. Because we got that pretty quickly. He's so distrust. Okay, that's good. What was the month again? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm now just fretting all over the place. Five months. Okay. So five months means seven months. So... Uh, December, January, February, March, April, May, June. June? Okay. June would probably be about the time. Just keep running. Just keep running, my soldiers. If you don't lose a battle, you can't lose the war. I don't think they're coming, though. I don't think he's coming. Just, just hang about, you know? Just hang about over here, you know? Just hang about in their lands. Try not to lose attrition. Now, they have made their way down here, so they're going to try and get some more score off us. So that way, hopefully, then we can't win. So let's try and get some more score back. Let's go back to the capital. Because now we can see where their main army is. There we go. Still 99% because we took a lot of this. But if they go and get Dra, we'll be in trouble. But they're now coming back. They know they don't have much time left. It took them a while to get down there, though. That took a few months. So we should be okay. Um, I don't know what to do about my <laughs> sickness. I'm infirm. I've still got 82 personal combat skill, even though I'm infirm. Is that actually... D infirm must affect it, yeah? Yeah, mine is 50. I'm still a badass. She can still kick their ass upon the battlefield. But they're making their way up. Our marshal's now 30. We could assault this. Four days. Let's just get our war score up. There we go. 99 again. We've got some more prisoners, some more people to add to the pile of money that we'll be making off their precious, precious people. 14 gold? Yes, please. That's more than 10. Wow, I can count. Um, any more people we can exchange for gold pleasantries? Okay, give me a bit of gold as well. The kids, as I said before, we'll do them first. Just got a few more months. Okay, just run away. They're going to take this back, and that will probably give them... Um, that'll probably take away our 100%. So that's kind of the big problem with that. That will get rid of that if they do take them all back. It's just whether they can get here in time. I think they will. Probably. Um, we'll just go up to here. We'll just sit here and take this for now, see if we can get a bit more war score from that. Um, and we can, we can kind of, it gives us a bit of a distance where we can still run away from them if they do come towards us, rather than just taking the capital. Which is what you'd think they would do. It looks like he went all the way down and was like, you know what? This was a bad idea. <laughs> this was the worst strategy. You know what? I've got to thank you, Maghreb. i got to thank the Peasant Revolt at the moment if we do get this. And Asturias just grew over here. Okay. Asturias was split up as well. What is? Why are there two Asturiases? So we've got the kingdom led by this guy, Di Castilla. And we have the Duke of Asturias. Okay. Well, that's probably not a great position. War to revoke a Borg is always too powerful. He's trying to revoke it from him. Okay, but overall, pretty big Asturias there. I mean, Europe is looking interesting. Looking very interesting. A few small little dukedoms that are free here. Okay. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Uh, there's Austria up here, that new nation. But uh, stop getting distracted, NG. We've got a massive war, and I'm looking at all the little things going on. Oh, here they come. How long was it? Just like two more months, wasn't it? Yeah, it was like two more months. But we can just take them on wild goose chase and we can come back around and grab it again. So it shouldn't be too big a deal. Like I say, I know we have more men right now, so we probably could beat him. But 
I'm worried when it comes to our troops. Heavy infantry is 1,800. What do we have? It's hard to tell because it's so, it's so diverse. Um, so many little armies here. Not many from what I can tell. Yeah, it does not look like many archers. Yeah, they obviously have heavy cavalry as well. Look at that heavy cavalry. The heavy cavalry, you know, probably would destroy us. 99. Come on, it's the 15th of April. It can't be. Two months. It's two months. Two months away. But I said we just took him a wild goose chase. And actually, you know, the Tick and War score probably has actually helped us out there. So we're now going to take him a wild goose. We'll go this way. We'll go around this way. We're taking a wild goose chase until the two months are over. What a tactic. Guerri kind of guerrilla warfare in a way. It was kind of guerrilla warfare, but not exactly. The light rains. The rituals must have had an effect. Clearly the locals followed my instruction. She's going to go for that. She's, she, she's cynical, that's what she always says. But we would have the piety now. Is there anything else we would need? Am I missing something? We are actually that close. Okay. Keep going, my men. Just keep living. Keep surviving. The only problem is now I don't know where the enemy is. But that's a concern. I can't see where they are. Huh. Okay, well, hopefully... There we go. It's done. It's done. Let's do it. Enforce our demands. And it's done. That massive war for one province. But that one province means everything. Look at that. The holy sites have been brought together. And we can do it, yeah? <gasps> we need 750 piety. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? We've got... We need seven piety? Okay, let's just do something that can give me piety. Pick patron deity. Lose 25. Yeah, that wouldn't help me there. Promote a commander. Tell a story, maybe. War sacrifice? Yes. Um... Maybe one of these might? No, it would just help us out. But I'll, I'll sacrifice someone anyway. We've got some prisoners here. Might as well use them. Under the maddening beat of the shaman's drums, the warriors bring Lemon forward. I approach her, my face inscribed with the sacred symbols, and carve a long cut through her throat, grabbing her by the head, and showing the lodge's totem. Showering the lodge's totem with her blood. There we go. Doesn't give me, doesn't give me what I needed, but it's close enough. Please, Aisha, you just gotta live a little bit longer. You're 67. The legend must continue. The legend must go on. I can't believe she's gone infirm. Anne has cancer. This is just... I'm just trying to think. War sacrifice, commander... Tell a story. Was there a story that allows you to tell a story about piety? No, it wasn't. It was getting people's opinion up. Okay, she always goes to the warrior. We're just gonna have to wait then. We're just gonna have to wait. Um... We have to wait a little bit more. Okay, fine. Uh, get gold for these people. Some of them, at least. You know, not all of them. We'll get gold for some of them. We'll be nice, obviously, for our new nation and our new realms. Uh, let's bring the people home. Let's bring the men home. Okay, we got we got to sort this all out. I'm just so happy we did it. I actually wasn't sure, but we actually got it. Good job. Good job. Good tactics, everyone. We need to give away this. The temple must be given. There we go. We'll give that off. We are over our size here. I think we should probably give away Dra, because it is the furthest one away, isn't it? There it is. Oh, by giving it away, we got it. <gasps> Reform the faith. Here we go. We can finally try out these new mechanics. Oh, lovely. Wait, let's go back. Okay, so it does that. Okay, reformation. We will reform our old Western African pagan ways. Ah. Ah, this is excellent. We are presented the unique opportunity to reshape our faith forever. We must be careful on the path we set out on, as once the new dogma of our religion has been established, it will be impossible to change. Many learned priests and scholars have travelled to my court in order to discuss all sorts of theological matters in an attempt to codify a complete and solid reinterpretation of our old oral traditions. Yet being the one who made this reformation possible in the first place, it would only be fair if I gave my own opinion on the nature, doctrine, and leadership of our new religion. Ugh. Nature, then. What do we choose now? I'm going to choose it. I'm not going to go for mini maxi thing, as you guys know. I'm going to go what I think our person would choose, what maybe fits our religion the best. That type of thing. Kind of a mixture of that. So let's see. We have peaceful. The nature of our religion. Is it peaceful? Rulers are less likely to start wars, plots, and factions. 
Rulers gain party while at peace. Looting is not allowed. Great holy wars. I don't think peaceful is her sort of thing, is it? No. Uh, warmongering could potentially be it. Rulers do not receive opinion penalties for raised vassal levies. That's pretty cool. Great holy wars are allowed. Rulers are extremely aggressive. Rulers at peace lose prestige. Our only way forward is paved with the skulls of our enemies. Only by showing their bravery in battle, the faithful can hope to be awarded in the afterlife. You know, I'm kind of imagining like Aisha being carried around on like a stretcher, like during like in the army, like because she's still a great commander. She's still commanding them. They're kind of carrying her around on the stretcher, and now they're kind of like all you got people around her noting and documenting down what she thinks should be the way this faith is done. Unyielding. We might never spread the worship of our gods to all the corners of the world, but we are committed to make our ancestral lands impregnable to missionaries and infidels. Warmongering, I think, suits us better. Uh, proselytizing. This is one we're trying to spread it, isn't it? The strength of weapons of the gods are preserved? No, she's not that religious, really. And dogmatic. There are only one word, only one correct interpretation of our scriptures, only one way to please the gods. Now, I actually argue you can't choose it. Religion has the feature civilized. Religion has the feature autonomous. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, I didn't see cosmopolitan on there. What's cosmopolitan then? Let's see. Intermarry its neighboring faiths. Great hills are allowed. We must acknowledge that every people have its own protectors and that more often than not, we will all worship the same gods, just with different names. No. Warmongering is going to be her nature, I think. Doctrine then. Let's see. Meritocracy. Um, the gods do not care about the order in which a child is born. They care about the skills and virtues that he shows as a man. I could imagine her going for something like that. That would not surprise me. You're the, only the best. Did it keep my stuff? Okay, that's pretty cool. It keeps your stuff, though. That's nice. But okay, she might like that. Uh, divine marriage. The gods have chosen certain bloodlines over others. Such dynasties must be maintained. Sure, if we wish to keep the favor of our creators, she might go for that. She is proud, of course, and the Dawa have led these, these people to glory. Close kin marriage is allowed. Close kin marriage amongst nobility is considered a divine union. Okay. Interesting. Polygamy is a time that we acknowledge our concubines as full spouses. The children we have with them are just as legitimate as any. Now, that obviously people in our faith have had, you know, concubines and stuff and bastards, but our our kings, our leaders didn't generally do that too much. I didn't do that. We didn't do as much, uh, you know, raiding and stuff. But I'm not going to go for that. Stability. You know, based upon the history of our people, it is blasphemous to doubt the legitimacy of a ruler who has come to power under the favor of the gods. He should be shown immediate loyalty by his subjects. I don't think we're going to go for that. I, I think she would like that, but I think the other two maybe go for better. Divine marriage or meritocracy. Meritocracy is the one I'm kind of going towards at the moment. Uh, there's a lot of these. There is a lot. And so, you know what, guys? I'm going to have to leave this till next time, I think. Oh, my. There's a lot. We're going to have to leave this till next time, guys. So, guys, I, I do apologize, but if we went for all these right now, this episode will never end. So, I'll we'll have to leave this till next time. So, next time will be the reforming of the faith. What will our religion look like? What shall we leave the people behind when Asia dies? I'm excited. I'm very excited.